guys, it's Cameron. Thank you so much for submitting all of your questions and a special thank you to Romeo for having me. So, Timmy from Norfolk asked, what is the craziest thing a fan has ever sent you? I don't think I've really gotten anything crazy, but the best thing I ever got was a jar of Nutella. That completely made my day, and they put my name on the top and their flag, and it was awesome. I loved it. Brenda from Idaho Falls said, um, what is your favorite thing to do on a Saturday? Well, that depends on whether I've been working or not. Because if I've been working, all I want to do on Saturday is sit in my bed, just relax, and watch my favorite TV shows. And if I've just been doing schoolwork and normal things, then on Saturdays I want to hang out with my friends and go out to the movies or do something fun like that. Zakaya from Columbus said, who inspires you the most and why? I don't really have one specific idol. I like to look up to multiple different people because I feel like if I just am looking up to one person then I'm going to be another replica of that person and I don't want to be that. I want to be multiple different people and want to create my own person. Um, but I definitely think one of the people who inspires me every day is my mom just because she works so hard all the time. And she knows what she's doing and I've seen her fail and I've seen her succeed and it's just, it's amazing. I love to see her try all the time. Dahlia from Mesa said, what is the one thing that has changed the most since you became famous? My social life has <laughs> definitely changed because, you know, I'm always on the road and I'm not going to school so it's really hard to see my friends and that sort of thing and you know a lot of people you never really know what their real intentions are as your friends so that's always a terrifying thought. Brianna from Chicago asked what is the one thing you couldn't live without? Oh man. As a thing I would say my dog Lulu and if not Lulu, if that doesn't count, then coffee. I love it way too much. It's so addictive and I'm obsessed. It's quite a problem. <laughs> Gabby from Miami asked, what is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? <sighs> ever? I don't know if anything that devastating has ever happened, but I think one of the most embarrassing things was I was coming off stage, luckily nobody else in the audience saw it, but I was coming off stage and there are stairs, and this is on the One Direction tour, and Five Seconds of Summer are down waiting to go on, and of course I'm coming down the stairs and they're all looking at me and why do I fall and slip and miss a step? I caught myself, but I had two huge bruises right here and it was so embarrassing. They tried not to laugh and then they gave me a group hug and I was just like, kill me now, please, just do it, just end me. So that was super embarrassing. Jamie from New York asked, what is your biggest goal for 2014? My biggest goal for 2014 would be to release this album, get on a couple of tours, but I think overall it's to release the album. So you guys can look forward to a lot of that and some new songs and hope everybody likes it. Kimberly from Simi Valley asked, who is your celebrity crush? Um, I always get asked this question and I feel like it constantly changes, but um, I would definitely say at the moment it's Evan Peters. I love American Horror Story and I totally love him in it, so it's great. Rachel from Clarenville asks, what is your favorite type of movie? My favorite type of movie is definitely a good comedy. Um, but like the dorky comedies, like Hangover or Anchorman, those types of movies. Those are my favorite. I love that. Lindsay from New Orleans asks, Where is one place you want to perform that you haven't already? 
I want to go to Tokyo so bad and perform there. I think that would be so much fun. Um, the people over there, they, they dress awesome, and I think it would just be so fun to see a bunch of characters. Michelle from San Diego asks, what is your favorite childhood movie? I definitely have to say Grease. I would watch it every summer, religiously, every weekend, and it's my favorite movie, hands down. That and Matilda, those were my two favorites growing up. Okay, Dana from New York asked, if you could go back in time, what year or specific day would you go back to and why? I think I would go back to the time when I turned five and we were in Nice, and my birthday is July 14th, so it's a holiday over there, so it's Bastille Day. And there was fireworks that night, and my parents totally told me that the fireworks were for me. And I got so excited, and I was so devastated when I found out it was a holiday. And I was like, you guys let me believe that those fireworks were for me, so if I could go back, I would definitely try and figure out that that was not for me and just enjoy them for what they were and just feel awesome that my birthday was a holiday. Stephanie from New York asked, if you only had one food to eat in the whole world, what would it be besides pizza? Does it have to be a food? Can I drink it? Because if it would, I would totally just drink coffee every day all day, the rest of my life. But if, it, if that doesn't count, then I don't know what to do with myself. I guess I'll just start. <laughs> no, um, I'd probably pick something like spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Erica from Washington asked, what is your main career goal as of right now? Well, it's kind of a general statement, but I'm thinking that right now I want to share my music with as many people as I possibly can around the world and just enjoy what I do and to continue to perform and grow as an artist and hopefully I'll be selling out my own arenas and stadium tours and just living life. Elizabeth from Pepperon asks, if you could design your dream guy what would he look and act like? Oh man. Okay. I have a total type, and it's 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 brown hair, cheekbones, really kind of muscular, but not over the top meathead. And he would act like almost like me, but they have to still be a little different because if we were too like, that would be kind of a problem. So be really funny, um, smart outgoing, athletic, that kind of thing. So, I mean, pretty, I feel like every girl kind of has their ideal personality for a guy, but that usually doesn't happen. Anyways, <laughs> Amy from Aleph, Mexico, asks, what did you decide, or why did you decide to start posting videos on YouTube? Um, I feel like I started posting videos on YouTube when I was like nine and it was because I was recording um, a bunch of songs at the time when I was first starting and I just, we didn't really know what to do with them so we are like alright let's just put a couple songs and a few goofy videos on YouTube and just start building my fan base and from there I just started to build and I went on to Facebook and MySpace and you know everything like that so I feel like YouTube was kind of my beginning tracks to having the fan base I do now. Maria from London asked, how do you get inspiration to write your songs? Um, a lot of it is either things that I've seen or have seen happen to my friends or have personally experienced but I mean Sometimes you get, or at least for me, I get into a mood where I'm either, if I'm sad, then I'm like, all right, let's, let's write a sad song and just pretend like the world is ending. And if I'm just 
super angry, I'm like, yeah, let's write an I hate you song. <laughs> so, I mean, it kind of just switches up for whatever you're feeling like. And sometimes you get random just bursts of ideas and just kind of go for it all. Olivia from Austin asked, out of all of your songs, what one is your favorite? Oh, man. So, I've already started recording for the new album, and um, we have a solid amount of songs so far. And this is one you guys haven't heard yet, but it's called Rubies and Diamonds, and it's my favorite song that I have, and it's going to be so good to finally share it with everybody, so look out for that one especially. Jonathan from Orlando asked, what has been your favorite place to tour? Mm, definitely Europe. Just, I can't pick a place over there because everything was amazing. I love the food. Um, obviously Paris was incredible. It was beautiful. And I got my Nutella crates. So I definitely want to go back there as soon as possible. Adriana from Boston asks, if you could only listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? This one is really hard to answer because I feel like I'm one of those people who, if, you, if I listen to a song too much, then I'll end up hating it. So I don't know what I'd want to do. If I could pick an album, that might help a little bit. It would either be... Rihanna's Talk That Talk or um, Lana Del Rey, uh, Born to Die. So, I don't know, between those two. Jalen from New Orleans asked, what country would you like to visit that you have never visited before? Ooh. I don't know. I really, really don't know. Try and make it around the entire world and try and hit at least every main city everywhere. So I don't know. I don't have one in mind specifically. I feel like I already went to my ultimate place, which is Paris. So, um, Danielle from Marlboro asks, if you had to be stranded on a secret island with one person in the whole entire world, who would you pick? I'm gonna go ahead and say that I want to pick someone who does the Survivor um, TV shows because if I do that, I know they know what to do and how to survive. So I feel like that might be the smartest move as far as taking someone and being stranded. So, Ava from Oxford asked, what was it like touring with One Direction? Touring with One Direction was so much fun. It was terrifying. It was amazing. It was kind of every emotion at different times. Um, but overall, I think it was just probably one of the best tours I've ever been on and such a learning experience. I've never really performed in arenas those sizes and it was just, it was both absolutely horrifying and amazing. Um, Nella from San Antonio asks, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could live anywhere in the world, ugh, I don't know, I mean, am I still a singer or am I normal? If I were a singer, um, I would definitely say I would stay in either LA, New York, or London. But if I'm not singing and I'm just kind of there and I just had to live anywhere, I would definitely say I'd go to Bora Bora. It's so beautiful. I feel like I was on a vacation all the time and it sounds like a good time 24-7. So that's where I'd be. Stephanie from Las Vegas asks, Do you enjoy performing in huge stadiums or small clubs more? they're both really different experiences and it really depends on the audience because I could go to um, a really small club and play to 100 kids but the audience was going crazy and it would be way more fun than going to a stadium and performing to 
hundred thousand people with only a couple people jumping. So it really depends on the crowd. And I think small clubs are a bit more intimate, where I get to really enjoy everybody who's there and really give everybody a little opportunity to hear me. But I feel like stadiums, I get to perform to more people at once. So I mean, it's just it's different. I like them both equally, but they're good for two different things. Kenzie from Newport Beach asked, how do you handle crazy fans? Um, I mean, I haven't really had to handle too, too crazy fans, but usually every time that it has happened, it's been a lot of security around and just kind of like making sure we're not trampled. But um, I love meeting fans and I love it when people come up to me, so... I don't know. I think I pretty much handle everybody. That's really why girls go crazy is because the artist isn't really or can't talk to everybody. So they're trying to get as close as possible to possibly get an autograph or a picture. But I'm usually just kind of there like, yeah, let's do it. Let's take a picture. You know, I'll sign anything you want. That's sort of thing. Lily from Clarksville asks, if you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? Well, one, I'd wish for more wishes. Easy. Um, two, I would wish for an endless supply of Nutella and cookie butter. And three, I would wish for a maximum of two hours of schoolwork for the rest of my high school life and college life, and that would be bomb. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Summer from Gastonia asked, what do you enjoy most about performing? Performing is so much fun because, I mean, one, it's a great workout. So I feel like once I'm on stage and I start sweating, I'm like, all right, cool, I got my workout in. And I love to just see how the audience is. And I feel like one of the most terrifying parts about performing is not knowing what the audience is going to do but the more I think about it right now I'm kind of like that's kind of what makes it the best because once you do find that audience that is super excited and just does whatever you tell them it makes it that much better because you know that you did it right <laughs> and um I don't know I love just interacting with the crowd while I perform I like to get crazy I like to just be free and do whatever I want. Nothing about my show is really planned. We kind of just like, all right, here's a set list. Go out there, do whatever you want, whatever feels right, and just have fun. That's the main goal. As long as I'm having fun and the audience is having fun, everything's great. Jessica from New Jersey asked, who is your favorite member of One Direction? Oh, man. Um, I don't think I have one single favorite. I like them all equally, but if I had to choose who I really hung out with the most, I would say either Harry or Niall. Those two are just amazing, and so is everybody else in One Direction, but I feel like I saw Harry and Niall the most. Um, but, I mean, they're all amazing, and all have different qualities that every girl wants, so I don't know. They're all like older brothers, and it was really good. I hope to go on tour with them again. So uh, thank you guys for submitting all of those questions again, and again, thank you to Romeo for having me. It's been really fun.